population size. How do we determine sample size? Again, I kept talking about these AICPA sample size tables. And if you look in your text, um, I think in module F, pretty sure it's in module F. Yes. And it might be in module, let's see. Yes, this is in module F when we talk about attribute sampling. So if you look at exhibit uh, F6 and exhibit F7, right, you'll see it's on page, um, well, if you have the custom text, it's page 598. If you have the full text, it's page 760, or the, the ebook, it's page 760. So it's module F. And you'll see that there's uh, exhibit F6 and exhibit F7. And F6 deals with the sample size table for 5% risk of over-reliance, right? So that's your number of expected deviations, right? So what you're trying to find is uh, based on my expected population deviation rate, my tolerable rate of deviation, um, what would be then what would be my sample size, right? So that's what I said. Your population, the, um, your sample size is going to really be driven by those two things. And then a table, uh, I'm sorry, exhibit F7 is if the auditor is willing to accept a 10% uh, risk of over-reliance on internal control. So it's whether your confidence interval is 95% or 90%. And the table, those two tables provide you with that. And that's uh, what you base your sample size on. Okay, and those are the AICPA uh, tables. Um, so, uh, for example, right, if you have the risk of over-reliance of 5%, you would look at table F6, right? And if your expected population deviation rate is 2%, that's the first column. The tolerable rate of deviation is 7%. That's across the, the uh, rows, right? Across the columns, I mean. Um, then your sample size is going to be 88. Did you find that? You had table F6. Your population deviation rate is 2%. Your tolerable rate of deviation is 7%. Everyone get that? That's it. So you see what's driving your sample size. It has nothing in there about population, right? What's driving your sample size are those three parameters, 